Hello everyone. The title of this talk is V Kids in Reduced AGS and Taoxing. This is a joint work with Takano Isobe, Willimir, and Kosei Sakamoto. This is an overview of this talk. So, first, I will introduce the cryptanalysis of AGS. Then, I will introduce the application to Taoxing. Finally, I will make some discussions and draw the conclusions. First, I will briefly introduce the background of AGS 128. It belongs to the AGS family submitted to the Kaisal competition. In the AGS family, there are AGS 128, AGS 128 Air, and AGS 256. The first of which targets for the 128-bit security, while the last one targets for the 256-bit security. Among them, AGS-128 has been selected in the final portfolio for high-performance applications in the competition for its novel and efficient designs. It's surprising that there is no cryptanalysis of AGS initialization phase during the six-year competition, and there are only two papers targets for its keystream phase where only AGS-256 was shown to be insecure. This makes us wonder whether analyzing the initial phrase is too difficult or this topic is just not interesting. Whatever it is, we think it meaningful to analyze it because it has been selected as one of the winners of the competition and its design using the AES round function as the main component has inspired several uh, ultra-fast symmetric key primitives designs. This is an illustration of the AES128 round function. As you can see, the state is divided into file blocks, and each block is of size 128 bits. In this figure, A denotes the AES round function by omitting the add round constant operation. The round function slightly differs depending on the round number, R. If R is old, updating XR0 will involve K. However, when R is even, updating XR0 will involve both K and N, where, where K and N denotes the 128-bit key and 128-bit nouns, respectively. There are in total 10 initialization rounds, and the initial state is defined in this way, where C0 and C1 are both 128-bit constants. Supposing the target is R initialization, supposing the target is R initialization rounds, what we can know is only theta, where theta equals to xr1 plus xr4 plus xr2 and xr3. So we cannot know the specific value of each block. What we can know is only uh, theta, which is computed according to, to some combinations of the uh, blocks. So how to analyze the security of such a construction. From its description, it's clear that AES and AES-128 are very similar. So it is inevitable to use some distinguishers for reduced AES to start it. For such distinguishers, we have the four-round integral distinguisher, the five-round multiple of A distinguisher, and the five-six-round yo-yo or yo-yo-like distinguishers. However, not all of them are friendly to our attacks. The main problem is that what the attacker knows is only theta, not the exact value of the of each block of internal state. Obviously, the integral distinguisher is more friendly because we can independently study the integral properties of xr1, xr4, and xr2, and xr3. However, if we use the remaining distinguishers, we may be required to study the interactions between them, which will increase the difficulty to analyze it. 
So we finally chose to use the integral distinguisher to analyze reduced AEGS-128. The main strategy is to write down and study the integral properties of the expressions of XR1, XR3, and XR and XR3 in terms of the nonce N and the KK respectively. So what kind of expression should we study? The Boolean expression? Obviously, this is not this is impractical because it is too complex. Do, uh, considering the nature of the round function, we find it more feasible to write and analyze the expressions by treating a 128-bit world as a unit. This is because the diffusion between different 108-bit blocks is very slow during the round update. So you can see from this figure, so the diffusion between each blocks is very slow. With this basic strategy in mind, we first write expressions after five rounds of update. For simplicity, we eliminate the constant and key variables in the expressions. Note that only x51, x52, x53, and x54 are involved in the calculation of theta. And in their expressions, M passes through at most four A's rounds. So there seems to be chance to find an integral attack on file round AES, AEGS-128. However, there are still some problems. First, although M passes through 4A's rounds in X file 4, the way it passes through 4A's rounds is rather complex. So it is unclear whether we will lose the 4 round AES integral property for X file 4. The second and the most important obstacle is that we have to study the integral property for X file 2 and X file 3. Uh, however, the expressions are very complex and this, there seems to be little chance we can find uh, usable integral properties for it. So, the problems now become clear. That's the integral properties for x file 4 and the integral properties for x file 2 and x file 3. With the problems in mind, we now carefully write and analyze the actual expressions after each round of update. After one round update, the expressions are listed here. So you can see that they are very simple. Note that we always introduce new variables, new constant variables ci to represent the constants derived from k, c0, and c1. After two rounds of update, the expressions are still very simple. However, after three rounds of update, the expressions are somewhat complex. Our critical observation is that we can simply simplify the expressions by adding proper conditions on k. Specifically, uh, if equation 1 holds, then we can introduce a new variable, a constant variable C9 to represent the whole, a whole complex expression. This is because when equation 1 holds and uh, when only n and when n only varies at the first di diagonal, then n a plus n plus a, n plus a k plus c1 is constant. In this way, the expressions after three rounds of update can be simplified, as shown here. In addition, if we further introduce a variable t to represent the expression c0 plus a k plus m, the expressions can be further simplified, as shown here. So now the expressions has become much more concise and simpler, which is easier for us to do some analysis. The benefits to introduce the variable t is obvious. First, it can make the expressions more concise and easier to study. Second, it can invisibly append one, we can invisibly we can invisibly open one round for perhaps for key recovery if we can find properties of theta by only studying t rather than m. 
A pending runs for key recovery uh, for a distinguisher is common for the cryptanalysis of block ciphers. This is obviously not uh, intuitive for AGS because uh, due to the construction of the run function. At the first glance, we seem to lose its integral property. However, is it true? Let, uh, we, can we can introduce a new variable g to represent the expression. We proved in the paper that when g00 takes all the 2 to the 80 values and the remaining bytes of t are constant. For each ij, the same value of gij will appear an even number of times. Specifically, so for this state, the same value of each byte will take the, uh, the same value of each byte will appear an even number of times. Obviously, this property will be preserved through the Xbox transformation. Then, after the linear transformation, obviously, each byte is balanced. In other words, the sum of x file 4 is 0. At the last, we need to study the integral property for x file 2 and x file 3. This is uh, now po uh, simple because we only need to study the integral property for this expression. And uh, from this figure, we can immediately observe that the last, uh, the, the last three columns are all balanced. So for file round AEJS 128, we have the, we have such, so we have this integral property. But considering the relation between T and N, we also we we have that when the first diagonal of n takes all the two to the thirty-two possible values, the last three columns of theta are balanced. Indeed, we can further prove that in this case the whole state of theta is balanced. This is mainly because so here so the, we can prove that in this case uh. This four, uh, these four bytes are also balanced. So, based on the distinguisher, we can uh, mount a key recovery attack. Specifically, based uh, for uh, according to the key condition, we can pre-compute two to the twenty uh, twenty-four possible values for the first diagonal of k. Then, according to the uh, this distinct According to the distinguisher built on T and the relation between T and N, we can uh, easily recover the first, first diagonal of K with time complexity 2 to the 32. After recovering the first diagonal of K, we can recover the remaining diagonals independently by checking the condition on KII and uh, by checking this condition. And uh, in this, in this, after this phase, we will obtain two to the twenty-four possible values for each, uh, for each of the remaining diagonals of K. So there are in total two to the, uh, two to the seventy-two possible candidates for the whole K, and therefore the num, uh, the time complexity of the key recovery attack is two to the twenty-two and uh, data complexity is 2 to the 32. Since the number of V keys is larger than the uh, time complexity of our attacks, so we obtain a valid key recovery attack. Due to time limit, I will only describe the main problems we met when constructing the 8-round integral distinguisher for Xing. The role of the V case in Kaohsiung is to turn a probabilistic integral distinguisher into a deterministic integral distinguisher. Specifically, uh, for an arbitrary choice of four, uh, four constants, C0, C1, C2, C3, there will be no deterministic integral property, uh, for, for this one. So, so there's no integral property for, for this one. However, if we add one of the one of any one of the three conditions, this, this, or this, 
uh, there will be a deterministic integral uh, property for the sum. So this is where we need to add the, so this is why we need to use the weakest. Then we're analyzing the expressions. We also, we also faced with the problem to determine the integral property for this expression. At the first glance, it seems that uh, we may have the integral property because S only passes through four A's runs. However, uh, if you if, if you start it by 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 drawing some figures by drawing some figures like this, you will find that you, you don't know what the actual integral property uh it is. It has. Indeed, we prove that for arbitrary n, all it will always be balanced. This is surprising. And uh, the main reason why we have such a property is that the same value of this will appear an even number of times when a certain diagonal of S traverses all the two to the 32 values. It's interesting to see whether the divine property can capture such an integral property. We gave an example in the paper to explain why the conventional bit-based divine property cannot capture such a property, where the same value of the whole state appears an even number of times in a match set. A possible solution is to count the divine, the number of divine trails, which is a reasonably new idea. However, for large M, that also seems impractical because such trails will explode as the number of missed columns increases. This seems to reveal the importance to prove such an uh, integral property, and this also seems to reveal there are still some there is still some room for divine property for this problem. At the last, we draw conclusions for we draw some conclusions of this talk. First, uh, studying AGS and Chaoxin like ciphers in a wiki setting has more potential. Second. For AGS, for AGS 128, we use conditions on the key to simplify the quadratic part of the observable output, which can be equivalently viewed as reducing the algebra degree. For Taoxin, we use conditions on the key to turn a probabilistic integral distinguisher to a deterministic, dis deterministic distinguisher. However, uh, we have to carefully study the expressions before we noticing it. In addition, for Taoxin, there seems to be one useless round because indeed because we indeed study a n rather than n. Finally, for both a g s one hundred twenty eight and Taoxin, key recovery techniques are demonst are are assured and. Uh, its feasibility much depends on the dedicated analysis of the expressions, and this is not visible as common methods to append runs for key recovery. That's all. Thank you.